are some of the current issues um, based around gender that you're thinking about at the moment or yeah, in recent months or years or whatever? I'm actually massively still learning about um, like gender fluidity and, um, and pronouns and all that kind of stuff. It's very new to me. Um, so in, in that sense, I guess I'm quite inexperienced. Um, but I guess in terms of like being a woman, that's quite an important um, gender thing to talk about a lot. And um, yeah, I've recently gone through like lots of, been doing lots of like workshops and women's circles with, with, uh, with fan people and women. Um, and there's been this, this massive thing that's been reoccurring to me. I think a lot of the, back to climate change again, but uh, a big issue with why we're not taking care of our planet enough, I think, is because we're massively det detached from that, like, like that divine feminine that we're all part of, and that, that, that force, that powerful force, is really like what encourages caretaking and tenderness, and obviously strength as well. But um, yeah, that's a, that's a massive thing that's coming up for me about connecting to that, like, that sensitive womanhood, that like mother of everything that takes care of all of us, you know, um, and embodying that as much as possible um, to take better care, I think. I don't know if that made sense, but yeah, I think that's like the main thing that's been coming to find my own mind about gender recently. But I wouldn't want to speak on the other stuff because I feel like, yeah, there's definitely better versed people for that. <laughs> <laughs> So okay, so I just said in the last, um, you know, the last answer that stories are what fuels us to, to do things and to care, and I think that the handmaid's tale is, is one of the, you know a lot of, a lot of women are you know, like yeah we need to you need to stop things and we need to make things happen and you know and a lot of people on Twitter are like oh this is terrible and, you know and the one but the problem is is that way it um, we always reinforce is that people are very forgetful. And there are some women who are more cared about than others, and there are some women who are consistently ignored, and I think, and the problem with the handmade cell, um, so, is the fact that there is a white woman who is the main uh, figure, and I know that's who, you know, that was Margaret Atwood's main character, but the problem is, is that a lot of people, you know, are, all right, so, quotes, a lot of these quotes. Can you imagine if the handmade cell really happened? And all the black women are like, <laughs> <laughs> so you mean, so you mean enslaving people, and then and then so, so that is, you know, and there'll be and then people are, you know are all the you know, other women in the world, you know, but, you know <laughs> I'm thinking like this this happens every day. So I think the problem with um, being you know a woman, woman of color is, is is worrying about being forgotten. Um, yeah, that's that's my that's my biggest concern right now. My my outrage every time I, I see people getting mad at you know um, things on the television, and I'm thinking this stuff this really has happens or has happened or what you know pick up a book no let's watch the news like what uh, yeah the children and um, the women the girls in, in Nigeria they were never found so what, I just yeah so that's that's. That's the issues um, concerning women. When popular culture, again, so the fact, the stereotype or the, the popular cultural narrative is more important than the fact. And that hurts women a lot, especially women of colour. Thank you. Um, so now we will take 